I can't sing today. I've got a sore finger. Hey. <laughs> it's not for you guys. <laughs> What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Tom, Lady Lacey, this is Do You Nerd? Variety channel of all the things that we nerd out about. And guess what? <laughs> been tagged. We've been tagged. It's been a while. It's been a while. But hey, I hey, we're won't gonna get, we're gonna get sing this song no more. <laughs> Linda the Gamer Gal tagged us. I want to say this all started with Mega Dan. Maybe it started with someone else. And the last one is going to be Do You Nerd? Have you got your answers ready? A ton of people have been popping out videos, video responses, answering tags yeah. and everything. Every time I thought of someone that, I was like, maybe we should tag this person. Maybe we should tag them. It's already a video. We're copying out, <laughs> throwing an open <laughs> tag out there. Number one, mm -hmm. what types of games do you like to play? That one's an easy question. I like life simulator games. Love life simulator games, farming games, or anything where it's like I'm, I'm doing tasks, puzzle games, stuff like that. I love platformers. 3D platformers are fine. I really love 2D platformers. Honestly, anything with any kind of exploration element to it. So if it's like an open world game or even a Metroidvania style game, I love stuff like that. In my younger days, I used to love RPGs. I do not carve out the time for those anymore. So yeah. Question two, how much time do you spend playing video games? I would say for me, probably a couple hours a week. I don't really carve out a whole lot of time for video games because I'm an adult and I have a job and I have a house and a family. But when I do get to play games, I do enjoy it. So I would say a couple hours here and there, not as much as I would like. My average is so all over the place. I will literally go like two months without playing anything whatsoever. No games, zero at all. But then I'll like blast through Red Dead Redemption you know, in a couple of weeks or something, just because these don't work <laughs> too well yeah, for me. No. The funny thing is, Captain Algebra, every year that we see him at Mo GameCon and he sees me try to play a game with my claws, he's always surprised. Yeah. Like, your hands really don't work that well. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, boo hoo, Tom. But that's the other thing. We go and do a lot of stuff. We do, yeah. So we're never home. Yeah. <laughs> question three. A great debate question. Do you think video games can be educational? I think 100%. I mean, there's that whole line of the V-Smile games that they created just for little ones to learn things. There's tons and tons. Brain Age is a great one, you know, to help you remember things. Um, what was it? Typing of the Dead, you know, to teach you how to type. <laughs> so I think 100% educational. Yeah, I think so too. You know, with a lot of games, obviously there's the whole reading skill and with kids being able to read at their own speed because they're playing a game at their own mm -hmm. speed, that can be very helpful. Uh, period pieces, you know, like some of the earlier Assassin's Creed games before yeah. modern days. Uh, but anyway, those were really deep drawn into history. Not to mention just maybe some social yeah. skills when you play online for negative or positive but you know it is kind of a, a good educational way of learning how not to be a jerk in society possibly or it teaches you to be a jerk in society <laughs> it's educational one way or the other <laughs> number four what don't you like about video games they aren't real <laughs> <laughs> plain and simple I make cool houses in some of my games and it's like, I would love for this house to be in reality and I can actually live in this house or the clothes I'm wearing is super cool or the fact that I can make a million dollars in like 20 minutes. The fact that, you know, I can have whatever body shape, hair color, hair length I want at the flick of a switch. I, I love the fantasy of video games and I want them to be real. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like timer mechanics in games. I feel like it's an arbitrary challenge thing. I don't like feeling like I'm being timed. Even if I have plenty of time, knowing there's a timer makes me feel like I'm on a time limit yeah. and it forces me to play differently. And forced progression mechanics, like filler stuff such as races. I know that you're a Grand Theft Auto game and I'm stealing cars, but don't force me to win a race just so I can progress. If you have races to go off and do otherwise, Great, fantastic, that's awesome. And if I care, I'll do it, but I don't, so I won't. Please don't force me to race. It's a race, it's a race. I'm winning, I'm winning. Number five. 
Hey, we made it. How much do you spend on average on video games? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, I think they're asking. That's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> it varies, but it skews cheap for us. Yes. We, we are notoriously cheapskates. Anyone who's gotten game hunting with us can attest to that. Tom and Lacey, cheap ass gamers. Well, I remember being at Midwest Gaming Classic and Tom wanted a game and it was one he wanted so bad. It was Soul Blazer, if I remember correctly. And they, I think he wanted to pay 100 and they came down and met him in the middle at 110. Well, he still was thinking about it. So I had to throw the $10 down and say, Tom, will you just buy the damn game? We don't go for uh, full sets of anything. Nope. We don't go after bangers. We actually have zero interest in value of yeah. games. I don't care what this is worth. I just want it because I want it for some reason. I want to play it or, or I like the series that it's from. I don't care what the value is. We may go like a month or two without buying any video game yeah. whatsoever, like, like zero. Some people will have 30 day challenges, no buying challenges. And it's like, okay, okay. flip <laughs> no the coin. Problem. We'll buy like some collector's edition from limited run yeah. games. To be fair, it'll be about two years before we ever oh, yeah. see it. I guess technically, if you wanted to nail it down, we spend at least $40 a month on video games because of EGM. There you go, 40 bucks a month. <laughs> Pathetic. Number six, favorite console. Uh, that's easy. <laughs> I already know your answer. The Nintendo Switch. I am always torn between the Super Nintendo and the PS2. Both systems, I feel, took their predecessor and just amped it up. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't do favorites. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. And on that note, what's your favorite game in general? I guess right now it would be Disney Dreamlight Valley, but I guess in the broad scheme of things, probably either The Sims or Animal Crossing. My, my <laughs> answer is the same as a fat guy's answer to his favorite food. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Link to the Past, Chrono Trigger, whatever. Favorite game, sure, why not? <laughs> Number eight, and actually, I'm very curious to hear your response. I don't think you'd guess Favorite it. Favorite video game movie. I don't think you could guess it. I think I could. Super Mario Brothers, live action. Nope. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> nice. Any particular reason? Because it's an all-encompassing video game movie. It's got so many references, so many fun bits and pieces of lots and lots of different games thrown in there. A very well-paced get movie, a great storyline, it's a lot of fun, the characters are fun, now, and it still holds up, it's still a lot of fun, so that's why I love that movie. It's a, it's a great Disney movie. <laughs> nice. For me, it's the Street Fighter anime. Yes, for that scene. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is a tough one because I feel like a lot of people in the retro gaming community are going to say like The Wizard, which was, you know, a great movie. It's always kind of a fun nostalgic thing. Speaking of nostalgia, the original Mortal Kombat movie from the 90s, it's super cheesy, but I, I love it. It's great. Who doesn't love a good splits with a nut punch? Uh, things like the Mario and Sonic animated movies of modern day, they're yeah. really, really well done. So they're a lot of fun to watch. Honestly, I was kind of skewing more to... Wreck-It Ralph as well. I mean, again, I, I just don't do favorites, you guys. Yeah. But I really like, as you said, all the little bits, the encompassing nature of the movie. And it's just, it's like a fan service film. And it's it's just a fun watch, really. Okay. Did you really pick Wreck-It Ralph? Yeah. That's hilarious. Number nine, favorite video game character. Yoshi. Yoshi with very, very, very close behind him would be Luigi and then Rosalina. Specifically Link from A Link to the Past. He's really taken on a lot of this quest on his own, so he's very duty focused. <laughs> you said duty. Not that kind of duty. <laughs> there was something really cool about that kind of character who this is what he's supposed to do and he just does it. You know, he doesn't need someone constantly in his ear. Hey, hey look, look listen, listen, go do that. So, yeah. And the final question, number 10, your least favorite genre of gaming. That is super easy. Platformers. <laughs> I can't walk in real life up like, and down things and not run into things. What makes you think on a side scroller I can jump on a platform? My depth perception is terrible. I absolutely hate platformers. And then I would say secondly, 
Very close to that is first person shooters. Same here. I really don't like a whole lot of first person stuff. I don't really like sports games, but to be fair, I'm not a sports fan. Is the gentleman with the microphone the quarterback or does he merely kick the ball? Yeah. So it's not like I like a certain sport or team. Look like a pop fly into the end zone. No. Oh. So playing it solo isn't going to be fun. Like I don't, you know, know who the nine Knicks from the Chicago Bears are or hey, Bulls actually or got whatever. A team right. The carnage that follows is unspeakable. Run, my son, and cover your eyes. But otherwise, I really just don't like anything that requires you to memorize perfection yeah. to play the game. That's not my idea of escapism. I have to do things at work this, this, this order. I don't want to play a game where I have to do the exact same thing. That's why I like exploration games, because it's like, oh, what's that? Is that my quest line over there? Hey, there's a rock. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Hey, thanks. So there you guys go. Uh, 10 questions. Maybe get to know us a little better as gamers. Hopefully you enjoyed the answers. And if you didn't, she's got a hurt finger for that. <laughs> Put that thing away. <laughs> thanks, Linda, for tagging us again open tag we would love to hear some responses so please let us know in the comments down below if you do a video response and we'll check it out we'll see you next time let's go uh play some games we cannot stand and spend way too much money okay unlimited run stuff and then be surprised like three years from now when something shows up and it's like what's this wait i know who we can tag we can tag the button bashers jamie got caught in a uh, sand trap playing golf it turned out being quicksand and yeah, he's gone forever. You can still just see the shiny polish of his head peeking out over the sand. It's good for a tee off. <laughs> oh, wait. Wow. Well, how about too soon? Sega head? Oh, I think I would scream. <laughs> too soon. You guys remember Retro what Refresh? What about Tell Splash Gaming? <laughs> You're so stinking funny. Fine, nerd leaks. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me see if I can figure out how to lasso this guy. Blam, I shot them. Whoops. Now I'm wanted. <laughs> <laughs>